Things may be the craziest in the northwest part of the country, but in Washington, they're not that much better. Congresswoman Maxine Waters has moved on pr from predicting President Trump's impeachment to claiming that it's appalling that impeachment hasn't occurred already. I believe this president should be impeached. I don't care uh, what others say about it's too soon. We don't know. We think. I think that they're letting the American public down by not delving deeper into what is going on with Jerry Kushner and this back channeling about the lies and his failure to disclose that he had had these meetings. The mm -hmm. same thing with Sessions, failure to disclose about the meetings. What more do we need? Don Calloway is a Democratic strategist and former state representative from Missouri, and he joins us in the studio. Don, thanks a lot for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. So what more do we need? I don't know. Facts? I think she's armed with plenty of facts, and I think she's presenting a substantial case that the House should probably begin with the... The, the sincere and the vigorous investigative proceedings that could possibly lead to impeachment. I certainly am not calling for the president's impeachment, but I don't think that she or Congressperson Al Green from uh, Houston, Texas, are completely out of line for suggesting that that's probably potentially in the universe of what could happen. At this well, point. she's saying, mm -hmm. she's not just calling for it, she's demanding it. She's mm -hmm. saying we already know what we know, when of course we don't know any such thing. Um, and she's saying that the American people will be disappointed. Now, I guess why this jumped out at me is because she has a documented history of applauding mob violence, race violence, during the L.A. riots 25 years ago. And so statements like that strike me as kind of scary when they come from someone who, you know, applauded the beating of Reginald Denny, as she in effect did. Well, we don't know that she, I, you know, I'm well aware of the, Den, the Denny things, and yeah. uh, we know that she visited with the, the young man who did what he did that led to Reginald Denny's death years later. We right. know that she did visit with his family, and I'm not defending that action by Congresswoman Waters 25 years ago because it's indefensible. But the reality is that for those of us who participate in the public sphere, like you and I do, uh, over a substantial amount of time, we all have some things that we probably wish we hadn't said, done, or participated in, and I'm sure she would like to have a get back. But she does have a substantial Is there any record. Evidence of, of that? I mean, well, too, I well, guess no, that's, that's does, the thing. She, but well, she has a substantial record of public service as a civil rights advocate, as a civil liberties advocate, and as a consumer, at, cons consumer protection advocate that has pushed this country to a better place. Yeah, I'm not aware of any of that history at all. Well, I know she I, came really close to an ethics charge because well, no, she, she, apparently she, her husband she, got rich based no, on government policy. No, she that's influenced. not true. She was investigated by the ethics committee, and it's, it's good that you bring that up because she was completely cleared of any wrongdoing. And uh -huh. essentially, that's all. By her, her peers. No, yeah, by her peers in Congress. And right. essentially, that's what she's asking that President Trump do is submit to <laughs> submit to a proper inquiry, ethics inquiry, and have the opportunity to present his side and be exonerated just like she was. No wrongdoing. So there. what? I mean, I guess I just make two points. One, I'm worried that. She she has become a folk here on the left mm -hmm. because she is so intemperate and unhinged and outrageous and willing to say anything, and because she's a hater, and no, they're looking for a hater no. now to represent them. Now, you know I'm not going to agree with that, Tucker. I think that she is, uh, she has a lot of the appeal that President Trump has to his base, which is that she's willing to say things objectively and in a very blunt way without a lot of the kind of uh, circumspect politician speak. Objectively? She's, well, she's willing to be very blunt about her positions, and much in the way that President Trump had appealed to his base. Yeah, you said that she, and look, I believe in forgiveness, by the way, and I, I'm a flawed person, and, I, and some of my closest friends are very flawed people. <laughs> Including me. Yeah, but, <laughs> but look, when you go and applaud what she applauded, and she went, and when the other defendants were acquitted um, in the beating of Reginald Denny, he was delivering building materials for low-income housing. I mean, the guy was totally innocent, except he was the wrong color, and he was beaten almost to death. She's never apologized for that that I know of. Again, we're not defending anything that... But Cong shouldn't she? Uh, we're not defending I mean, look, what Robert the guys Byrd did. Robert Byrd was a Klan recruiter, okay? He was the longest-serving Democratic senator. He apologized, and, you know, and I, for one, was willing to say, you apologize, okay, we can move on. But she never has. I don't know that she hasn't, frankly, but I do know that we should extend to Maxine Waters the same grace that we've extended to the... that, the, that we've asked that we attend, extend to the Attorney General, who was deemed too racist to be a federal judge in the 1980s. We should extend to her the same grace that we extend to the President, <laughs> who is objectively advocating for sexual assault of women over the years and has participated in racist activity documented from the 1970s up through now when he led the birther movement. Yeah. So we should, all of us are following. I mean, I get, should, look, you know, we're talking about Maxine Waters here. We, we are, and but we she have to hold is to the uncritically standard. accepted by the left right. precisely because of her lunacy. Well, and no, I no, guess no, I would I challenge your, your assertion that yeah. she's 
got an impressive legislative record. I've been here almost the entire time she's been here. <laughs> well, I don't listen, know that there are a lot of waters bills that are improving my life. Are absolutely. There? Listen, my firm participates vigorously in the financial services space and in the corporate finance space, and she has absolutely been a leader, a bipartisan leader on consumer protection, has put this country in a much better place so that uh, corporations, banks don't take advantage of you and I and the little guys. And, and, and I think she's very proud. She should be very proud. Well, I thought her husband her was getting rich from a bank. Again, that did not happen. She was cleared he of didn't any get rich from, He didn't get rich from that? One United Bank in Los Angeles, her husband was on the board of trustees. One United was one of the dozens of thousands of banks throughout this country which participated in the Temporary Asset Relief Program. Right. And she was absolutely correct and cleared by any congressional ethics probe that she did no wrongdoing in that. He did not get rich. He's on the board of trustees. Should they not have participated in the same program that thousands of banks in this country, you community should, banks that help your family's people. profiting, you should recuse yourself. That, that's I would that's say not that what happened. She, she was found not to have had done any wrongdoing. So, fin final, final point. Would you say that if she's coming out there and calling for the President of the United States impeachment less than six months after his election in a free and fair democratic election, that she should at least give a bullet points of the crimes she alleged she alleges he's committed and she hasn't? Well, I think that she has alleged the same things that parties on both people on both parties have said is that we need to have a free and open and fair inquiry into a number of things that rise to the level of being objectively <laughs> questionable. Okay. The back channels with Russia, the continued ongoing meetings uh -huh. with Russia that were not on the record. None of that's, we need a, to talk none about of that's that. a crime. We need, okay. But we need to talk about it and we need to have a free and Holy fair investigative smokes, process. Holy smokes, that's all we're talking about. But we need, to have, we need to have a sanctioned investigative process. So, Don, thanks. Always Appreciate a pleasure, it. Tucker. Thank you. Jared Kushner is a